Welcome to the Creative Labs Tech Bits. Today we're going to be looking at scheduling and unscheduling for CCI routing and switching. Um, we're going to be doing this on the Internet Network Expert member site. So the first thing we need to do is go to the members and log in. And this takes a little second to sign in here. Now the first thing you'll notice is we have a bunch of tabs at the top and so we need to click on the Rack Rentals tab and uh, here we see how many tokens we have so right now I have 200 tokens available and um, we can buy more tokens clicking here or we can go ahead and launch the routing and switching Rack Rentals schedule. Uh, the schedule shows us all the available sessions and marked in red are the unavailable sessions and at the top we have our total number of tokens, how many we've spent scheduling here, and how many are remaining after schedule. So if we want to go ahead and schedule for S1, we can just hover over here and see that S1 is at 3 a.m. Pacific time is when it starts, and each session is five and a half hours, um, and next to that is the number of tokens it's going to cost. So if we want to go ahead and schedule for May 31st, uh, we can click S1, and we see up here the balance has been changed to 170 remaining and the selected sessions are listed right here. So we can go ahead and book out two sessions, S1 and S2, and just go ahead and click Schedule. We get a little confirmation here, and then back on the Rack Rentals tab, we see now that we have 140 tokens available, and if we scroll down even further, we can see that we're on RS Rack 2, and the password is the same password for both sessions, and we can get even more rack rental access information by clicking the link and this is all the information needed to connect to the rack now if we if we decide we we can't make that and we have se up to 72 hours before to change our rack rental session and in order to unschedule it we click reschedule a rack session and we check off which ones we want to unschedule so here I'll, let's go ahead and unschedule both we see the refund is 60 and after we have the 200 tokens remaining. So let's click reschedule. And now we have confirmation here. We've two sessions were successfully refunded. And scrolling down, we have no more access information down here. So that's it for scheduling and unscheduling, routing and switching rack.